Hello and welcome to the July 1st, 2022 edition of Watching the Tape. As I'm sure many of you are aware, mortgage rates have been on a steady ascent this year. There will be casualties, unfortunately. One such victim is RH, which used to be known as Restoration Hardware. RH is a retailer of high-end home furnishings. And here's an example of what I mean by high-end. This side table is listed at $3,300, unless of course you are a member, which drops that price down to $2,500. The description is quite intriguing, I will say. The silhouettes are imbued with a sense of understated, quiet luxury. Doesn't say anything about holding TV remotes, but I'm sure it does that quite well. Here's another example. This is your run-of-the-mill $5,300 dresser. Sorry, starting at $5,300 for non-members. And when I see starting at, and I don't see handles on the drawers, I wonder if adding handles would increase that price. So RH's stock price is down 10% today. This is Thursday, and this is as a result of an announcement the company released yesterday after the market closed about near-term earnings being negatively impacted by consumer spending. And it's not just today that the stock price has been struggling. The stock is down 71% uh, from its high last August. So it's been a disappointment for much of the past year. And here is a quote from that press release issued last night from the CEO. With mortgage rates double last year's levels, luxury home sales down 18% in the first quarter, and the Federal Reserve's forecast for another 175 basis point increase to the Fed funds rate by year end, our expectation is that demand will continue to slow throughout the year. Now, I want to spend the rest of this video taking a look at the impact of higher mortgage rate. And so here is a one-year look back of the 30-year conventional mortgage rate. And yeah, mortgage rates have uh, essentially doubled from 3% to 6% over the past year. So let's extend this back five years to see how it compares over that period. And we are at at least five year highs. So let's go back 10 years. Going back 10 years, we are at at least 10 year highs. So let's go back all the way to the year 2000. Ah, the last time that mortgage rates were around 6% was back in 2008. Now we'll for, say from a from an historical perspective, 6% doesn't really seem all that high to me, but yes, it, it, it still is quite a, a shock to the system based upon the low rates that we've had now for, for so many years. All right, to really illustrate what a doubling of mortgage rates means for the home buyer or, or today's home buyers, I wanted to put together an example here to, to illustrate the overall impact. All right. So average home prices in the Tri Cities are probably four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars. So let's assume the home price is five hundred thousand dollars in this hypothetical. Twenty percent down is a hundred thousand, which would leave a mortgage of four hundred thousand dollars. All right. So the monthly mortgage pay payment at a mortgage rate of three percent would be $1,686. At today's rate of about 6%, that jumps up to $2,398. That is over $700 per month. And then looking at it on an annual basis, that's $8,500 more per year. That, that, that is real money. And for the lifetime interest, which is, is an amount that uh, it's in the mortgage docs that you sign, but don't really pay attention to because you probably don't think you're gonna be in your house uh, 30 years or have the mortgage for 30 years. And, and besides that, it's kind of depressing looking at total interest paid or expected to be paid over the life of that loan. It is a difference of $256,000. That's, that's worthy of, uh, of an ouch. All right, so let's look at this a bit differently. Let's take this hypothetical and instead of looking at what 
the payment would change to at a 6% rate, let's say that the hypothetical buyer would like to keep their monthly payment static at that $1,686. So if that's the case, the mortgage that $1,686 per month would service at 6% would be 281,000. That's $120,000 lower. And if we were to assume that the down payment stays the same at 20%, then the home price would be uh, 350, almost three or around, about $350,000. So $150,000 lower. And I can see in this case that the actual dollar amount of the down payment could stay unched or unchanged at 100,000, in which case the price of the home uh, would be 380,000. So back to your $120,000 lower. This little exercise was very eye-opening for me. Hearing that that mortgage rates are up is one thing. Seeing the actual dollar impact is another. It, it's really going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. It's certainly going to have an impact on home price affordability and discretionary spending. Uh, I would say that one silver lining to all this is that the pullback in spending should alleviate inflationary pressures. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Happy Independence Day.